This is a story about Jesus and the importance of the unimportant. Jesus was born about 2000 years ago in the Middle East. His mother was Mary. Mary's husband was Joseph and Joseph brought up the child as his own. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Caesar Augustus was the Roman Emperor at the time that Quirinius was governor of Syria. A census was taking place over the entire Roman world and everyone had to go back to their ancestral hometown to be registered. Joseph travelled from Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem in Judea because his ancestors came from there. It took quite a while for the journey, especially as his wife Mary, who had to travel with him, was pregnant, enormously pregnant. Because of the census, the town was exceptionally busy and crowded and noisy. There were people everywhere, locals bustling about their daily business and strangers who had come from the census getting lost and tired and hungry. Despite it being Joseph's hometown, he couldn't find any relatives to stay with and no commercial room to take either. Every room was filled, every space taken. Even looking to his extended family and distant relations, there were just so many people in the city at that time that there simply wasn't enough accommodation for them all. So when they arrived finally at their destination, Joseph was getting desperate for a place for them to stay. And Mary? Well, Mary was beyond caring where she stopped. Just a place to sit down and rest her swollen feet and aching back would be fine. Somewhere. Anywhere. Please. In the end, they crept into a stable and tried to make themselves comfortable for the night among the animals and the straw bedding. It wasn't too cold in there. It was a bit smelly, but they had basic shelter from the weather. Hopefully they could find food and drink nearby and well, it was only the one night after all, it would have to do. And things would look different in the morning. So they settled themselves for the night. Of course, that was the time when the baby chose to be born, and once a baby decides it's time, there's nothing anyone can do to stop it. Maybe Joseph helped with the delivery, or maybe he found some local women to help out. We'll never know. But the baby was born in the middle of the night, in a stable, in an obscure part of an unfamiliar city. But mother and child were safe and the baby was healthy. And really, isn't that all that matters in the end? Except this was a very special baby. No one knew about this baby except possibly a local midwife, or maybe not. But the angels knew and couldn't wait to tell someone. Of all the many thousands of people that were in and around the city of Bethlehem that night, those who were among the lowest standing in the community were shepherds. Usually single men, they spent most of their lives out in the countryside. They lived a nomadic life on the hillsides, wandering about with the sheep and the goats and generally keeping away from most people. They were not highly regarded by society they were unimportant. Naturally, there were shepherds on the hillside that particular night and they were looking after their flocks and herds as usual, sitting around the campfire trying to keep warm and keeping wild animals away from their livestock in the dark. They may have been musing about the numbers of people in the city and why it was always so busy these days. But suddenly, the angel of the Lord appeared. Don't be afraid, he said. But of course, the shepherds were utterly terrified. I bring good news, the angel continued. Today, 
the Messiah, the Lord, has been born in David's town in the city of Bethlehem. This is great news for you and for everyone. You should go and see this child. Go now while you have the opportunity. He's lying in a manger, wrapped in cloths. And then the brightest light they had ever seen was shining all around them. And they were surrounded by more angels than they could count. Glory to God in the highest heaven, the angel said, and peace be upon those on earth on whom his favour rests. And then the angels disappeared. After a few stunned minutes, uh, maybe we should go, said one of the shepherds. Go down into the town, find this manger, see this baby. Mm, yes, said another. It does seem like he's pretty special. Special enough for God himself to tell us, said another. Yes, let's go, they all agreed. So they headed into the town and they found the manger. In it was a tiny newborn baby wrapped in bits of cloth, surrounded by straw. And there was his mother, quite a young girl, who was exhausted, but absolutely radiant. And her husband sitting somewhat dazed by her side. It was an unbelievable scene among the straw bedding and the animals and the smells and the soft noises of the night. But somehow it seemed right. The shepherds gazed at the baby for a while, drinking in the atmosphere and then quietly gave their greetings to the family and respectfully left. But they couldn't stop telling everyone they met about all they had seen. By the time they were back on the hillside, they were praising and glorifying God in full voice for the amazing things they had heard and seen that night. A few days later, the customary naming ceremony was held and the baby boy was called Jesus the name the angel had given him before he was conceived. Sometime later, but while Herod was still king, wise men, sages and mystics from foreign lands in the east came to pay homage to one they believed would be king of the Jews. They headed first to the obvious place, the royal palace, telling Herod of a star heralding the king, new king's birth but when they didn't hear of a new prince's birth, they looked elsewhere. Finally, they found and worshipped the infant Jesus, bringing symbolic gifts of gold, of frankincense and of myrrh before returning to their homelands. Eventually, Joseph took Mary and the infant Jesus back home to Nazareth, where they could bring up their family in peace. And now, more than 2,000 years later, we still remember that one apparently unimportant, insignificant baby and his parents. Although Jesus was born that night, all those years ago, in an inconvenient place in an out of the way town, still today, all around the world, the birth of that tiny baby is being celebrated. Joseph and Mary may have appeared a humble, lowly, unimportant couple from an obscure town in the Middle East, but their seemingly unremarkable baby was the Son of God. And he's still worshipped today by millions and millions of people. Happy Christmas. <laughs>